Welcome back to AgorJS. Today's question is leak code 1356. Sort integers by the number of one bits. So we're given an integer array and we need to sort the integers in the array by ascending order by the number of ones in their binary representation. And in case of two or more integers having the same number of ones, you have to sort them in ascending order and then return the array. So firstly, pretty interesting question. We have this array in example one and we've ordered it based on the binary representation of each of these values. And then as stated in the question, if the number of ones within the binary representation of these numbers are the same, then we need to order them based on ascending order. Okay, so let's dive into the walkthrough. So here is the binary representation of the integers from zero to eight, right? And we need to order these based on the number of ones we have within each of the binary representations. So we are going to be utilizing our solution to the question number of one bits, leak code 191, which was in the blind 75 playlist. And we'll be slightly adjusting it in order to accommodate for integers whose binary representation have the same number of ones, right? So three, for example, has the same number of ones as six. In this case, three is gonna come before six because it will be in ascendant order. So what's the best way of storing these? Well, if we use something like a map, which is going to store them based on their ordering, we can loop through the values and we can pass in a helper function to work out the number of one bits, right? So we're gonna have, now how are we going to calculate the number of one bits within the binary representation of an integer? Well, let's take one for example. We always look at the least significant bit when we're looping through. So as long as this bit doesn't equal zero, we have one bits within it. And how can we check, like what bit manipulation operators can we use to check to see whether the least significant bit is a one or a zero. We have zero, we have an operator, and we're gonna pass one, right? And this is going to give us a zero. And then if we have a one to begin with, and we use an operator, and we operate it against another one, this is going to give us one. So what operator can we add here to get these results? In this case, we'll be using the and operator. So we can use that to work out whether the least significant bit is a one or not. And if we have found a bit, we're just going to update, say, a count variable we have. So with one, we found that this is equal to one bit using the AND operator, and we can increment our count to one. Now, in order to move to the next least significant bit, essentially what we have to do is we have to remove this. And in order to do that, we will use right shift. So we remove that, we check, the rest of this bit is zero, so we can exit this and we can return the count one from this helper function. So at the end of this, within our map, we're going to have something like this. So here we have our mapping of the number of ones to their respective integer, right? And at this point, all that's left to do is to sort this array based on the information we've accumulated. And we'll be using the inbuilt sort method to help us with that. So let's dive into the code and see how this is implemented. So let's initialize our map, which will be an empty object. We're going to loop through the array, so let A of R. We're going to work out the count of each value within the array. And we're going to use the helper function number of ones passing in a so let's create this function so number of ones we're going to pass in the parameter we'll call it n we'll declare a count variable which is going to count the number of occurrences of ones within the binary representation of n and then while n doesn't equal to zero so there are one bits within the binary representation we can increment count. So count is going to equal count plus n and one. Remember this is to find whether the least significant bit is a one or a zero. And we just add that to the count variable. And we can simplify this too. And then we need to shift right to move the least significant bit. So n is equal to n shift right by one. And from this, we need to return the count. This will be returned up to this count. And then we need to add that into the map. So map at A is equal to count. And then finally, we need to sort based on map first. Otherwise, if two values have the same bit, as in the case of three and six, we need to sort based on ascending order of the integers. So in order to do that, we are going to use the sort method going to pass in a and b because we're comparing two values and we are going to be using the map so it'll be map a minus map b and if they're the same we need to just use the integers so it will be a minus b and then we need to return this in order to get the result okay let's give this a run 
submit it. And there you go.